Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. So, today I want to show you what it takes to put together a beginning cheap Amazon $399 greenhouse. Now I'm going to show you the brand and the instruction manual, everything a little bit later. But the first thing I did was assemble the base. The instructions are a little bit unclear whether that's the first step or the last step and never putting together a greenhouse before, I was unclear. So I went ahead and chose to put together the base of the greenhouse and it recommends concreting them in. Well, these little angle iron pieces or angled metal pieces, corner pieces, if you concrete them in concrete, I can't imagine it holding it in there. It's kind of like putting a butter knife in concrete and then, you know, trying to pull it out. I suppose it would hold, but I went ahead and welded some bent rebar on there that I'm gonna concrete into the ground to hold this foundation in, this base in. And uh, I went ahead, put it together, I assembled it, marked the corners, made sure that they were square. Now I'm gonna dig the holes and concrete these in. Uh, the assembly for this is fairly easy and simple, which I will show you later. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just gonna concrete this in and then we'll get uh, to constructing the actual walls and stuff. So I wanted to continue with the greenhouse today. Now, this is the Julie Song Hobby Greenhouse, six by eight foot greenhouse I purchased off of Amazon for 399 bucks. Thought it was a great deal for a beginner's greenhouse. It had decent stars when I saw it. I checked it again today, it was three and a half stars. And they claim to be a thicker frame material and a better construction, better quality build than other greenhouses. So I bought two greenhouses. This is the smaller one. And then I bought a bigger one of the cheaper greenhouses, um, cheaper quality that is, that I'll be assembling later. But I wanted to give you guys an overview of how simple or not simple the construction is and what my thoughts on it, whether it's worth it or not. Um, as you saw in the beginning about the confusion with the frame on the instructions. So if you go to your step number one, step number one Step number one is front gable assembly. Doesn't talk about the base until the last page. You got base assembly. And it doesn't even, that is what it shows you on how. So it seems to me that you're assembling the whole greenhouse and then setting it on the base. But I don't know, something doesn't seem right about that to me. But, anyways, we'll get to it so I'm gonna lay out all the parts out here make sure I have everything and then we'll get uh, we'll get started building it I'm not gonna show you everything just for sake of the video being super super long but um... okay so first impressions everything is labeled very well you got labels on every almost every piece except for the bulk metal pieces but they're self-explanatory that everything is labeled, including all the plastic sheeting. You can see P07, P11. Everything is labeled. Um, first impression, it's decent quality. I don't have anything to compare it to. I was expecting these sheets to be a little thicker. These are kind of flimsy. Um, down here in the Ozarks, I can't imagine these lasting through too many storms, but we'll see how they assemble and how they fit together. So fingers crossed. But overall, first impressions, good labeling, good packaging, and uh, it's decent, decent metal. So, so far, so good. Well, here we are eight hours later. Eight hours and three men later. Okay, so here's my lame sauce excuse about why you didn't see any of the construction on the video of the greenhouse. One, it was frustrating as all get up. It was me, my mom, and my son, and I was just annoyed and not a happy camper. So I was just trying to get it done in a day. It took three of us over eight hours to put it together. So I just wanted it done and I didn't stop to film anything. So there's my apology. I'm sorry. <laughs> these greenhouses, these greenhouse kits, 
Man, they're ridiculous. They're 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 a pain in the butt to put together, and especially if it's your first one and you're not very familiar with how they go. The directions are hard to understand. Things were mislabeled in the directions. Uh, it's telling me to connect to this part, which that part wasn't even part of the front gable. It was part of the rear gable, and then they copy and paste photos that don't even pertain to the section that you're putting together. It's just confusing and it takes a lot of time to figure it out. And I put things together and then had to undo them. It's not impossible, but by no means are the directions clear. I mean, they're just not. And overall impressions was six by eight beginner greenhouse is exactly that. This thing is like for hobbits or children. I mean, it's okay. I'm. I think in the dirt in the. It says six foot tall, and I'm six foot tall. And I thought, yeah, it's okay. But six foot tall in the center, at the highest point. Your sides are only like four feet tall. You only have like a two uh, two levels in here for your greenhouse, and these panels. I can imagine 30 mile an hour winds blowing over here and bending these panels just enough to pop them out of the grooves that they're in. And it says to use glue. Well, okay, that's fine and dandy, but if you put a bead of glue, like you, for example, let's look out here. Can you see this section right here? So there's little channels here. And you put it in there and you slide it up in there. So if you put glue on the plastic or glue in the channel, it's just gonna push it out. You're just gonna have one heck of a mess everywhere. I don't really think that's feasible. You know, and you can see how they're fitting. Um, they're not really level. I mean, it just nothing, it's really difficult to get them to fit together, right? This is a gutter. Yeah, this is a gutter. It's not gonna hold water, okay? And even if it does, it water's gonna come down into here, drip off into that. You know, it was 399 bucks. It's, oh, so I concreted the foundation in. Well, this thing, this thing is, it feels pretty solid. What I'm concerned about, I'm concerned about these panels blowing out of it. I'm concerned about the panels not being strong enough to withstand the storm. But as far as the greenhouse itself, I didn't really like how it connected down here. Didn't really like this, this connection system. So this is a hook. It hooks around onto a lip right here. And then it has this loop and you screw it on. But when you put a lot of pressure on this, it just starts spreading it out. Not really a fan of that. It's very difficult to do in the corners. I didn't put any in the corners. But all in all, this greenhouse, it's gonna take it's gonna take something to um, blow it off its foundation for sure. It's, it's gonna be need to. The front and the back are very strong. It's the sides that get real it's these sides that are real flim flammy down here. but I'm gonna put dirt all around there. Hopefully that's gonna end that. Plus I'll have racks on the inside and keep it from doing that. So, is it worth it? I don't know. It's questionable. It depends on what you wanna do. $400, a whole day of work, a lot of frustration. This is definitely not going to maintain temp in the winter, I don't think, at all. This is just to extend your season a little bit. And what you're gonna do in here, it's not even that large. You're not gonna be able to fit a lot of stuff in here. If you are a little hobbyist and you wanna grow a few little things and you live in town, it's a perfect size and it might work for you. But when you're trying to you know, start a thousand starts every year and grow food for your family, this is certainly not going to be adequate. So, anyways, uh, it is what it is. 
I'll finish this video up after I get the door and the vent installed and maybe some stuff in here. But overall, not exactly what I expected. Not exactly a bad deal. Not exactly a good deal. I'm just kind of 50-50. So here's our greenhouse. Now that thing is a slider because it's a sliding door. It can go, you can set it up to go either way. I wanted it to open that way. And how it holds it closed is this a little magnet right here that's supposed to stick to this metal but however there's a screw there right at the tip you can see that so it just doesn't work very very well so it does the wind will blow it open it's not a very strong magnet so i shoved a screwdriver in this side to hold it closed until i can figure out what to do and we're building up the dirt around the outside uh, to help keep the wind out of the bottom and it if it was it was blowing back and forth because that it was that aluminum down there is just too weak to hold it so we are filling that up um thoughts on the greenhouse so far you get what you pay for it's definitely cheap these makeshift gutters right here, these plastic things, you gotta glue these on, silicone those on, they're not gonna do any good. The water running down here, it's gonna fall in between this gap and the gutter. Um, look, you can see the gutter, how cattywampus it is, this building. I mean, how do you, you know, push that building up like that? It's just, it's just not. This side looks fairly straight. But yeah, these are, mm, these are pointless, look at this. It's just a joke. You would have to be an expert construction guy. And here's one of the reasons they blow out. You can see it ends right there. Like right there where my nail's at. It's only a quarter inch in on this gap. It should go another quarter inch because these things aren't it's not perfectly square maybe it has the possibility to be perfectly square but with as much as it wiggles around in the wind and or do it yourself first you guys aren't it's not gonna it's not gonna happen this is a extend your season greenhouse this is not a winter greenhouse put the gap up there between the vent yeah, right there there's a big gap right in there between the vent and the roof there's gaps all over in this place it is not going to hold in the heat so if you're looking for a winter greenhouse don't think that this thing this 400 dollars greenhouse is going to cut the mustard because it is not um it's just not morning everyone I brought you guys out to my cheapy little Hobbit greenhouse this morning because I wanted to show you something. It's It looks pretty humid in there. A lot of moisture on the panels, but it's 52 degrees out here right now. It's sunny, but 52 degrees. Let's see what it's like inside. Ninety-four degrees in here. Wowzers! I was not expecting a forty-five degree temperature difference between outside and in here. Quite honestly, um, now this thermometer is pretty cool because it maintains the highs and the lows. So it was like sixty-one in my house this morning. So that was a low. And then the high is 96. And then same thing for humidity. The, you know, highs and lows for humidity. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here overnight. I had huge concerns about this thing maintaining temperature overnight, which was the biggest issue. Most certainly it does just fine when the sun is out. And there are still a few things that I can button up. You know, I got some holes down here in the bottom that can be filled in. Um, but yeah, things like heat gets out the top, this vent, there's gaps here, but 
So I'll easily be able to maintain the high and low temperature in here and compare it to basically the outdoor weather readings. But yeah, actually pretty shocked, uh, pretty impressed. So yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see what the nighttime temperatures have in store here. Hey everyone, I'm just getting home from kind of a long day. I had a three hour drive just to get some garden soil down here. But I wanted to give you guys an update on this green, my Hobbit greenhouse. So I'm a little disappointed in this greenhouse so far because it doesn't maintain temperature at nighttime and in the daytime, it's just an oven. So if you look here, here's our temperature. Currently it's 85. The maximum today was 119.6, almost 120 degrees in here. And there's nothing I can do about it because the door is wide open and the vent is wide open. Other than throwing a tarp or something to cover to block the sun from getting in here. <sighs> this isn't what I was anticipating when I bought a greenhouse. I was anticipating warmer temperatures during the day, but more control over it. You would think with this vent open right here that it would, all the hot air would go right out, but it's just not enough, even for this small little greenhouse. And then it doesn't maintain temperature at nighttime. However, on a positive note, nothing actually nothing actually died they are a little bit wilted um they sucked up their water today that is for sure and they're just not looking too too happy but yeah nothing has kicked the bucket from them temperatures so stay tuned we'll get it figured out hopefully okay so on that note i've had this greenhouse up and running for I don't know a month two months maybe and one of the panels has blown out like I feared that was in the early days when there was nothing in there but now I've got well let me show you let me show you now I've got basically garage racks these wire garage racks in here and they're on the sides and then I've got this makeshift thing that I kind of built and I've got some pots in here so it's worked out it is very crowded and cramped it is a small greenhouse the thing that i struggle with the most is maintaining temperature uh you need to have electricity to it maybe hooking up a fan in there maybe not even using it in the summer because it is hot as get up in there you can cook inside this thing and it also does not hold the temperature at nighttime now there are some things that you could do to help it hold the temperature at nighttime. It's not a complete loss, but I really don't know how much higher you're gonna be able to maintain the inside temp to the outside temp with all the little holes. I thought about getting some small strips of felt and shoving them in here to kind of seal up those gaps around there. Definitely close up the floor. I've also thought about putting a water barrel in there to heat up during the day and radiate its heat off at night. But we're not winter time. We haven't ran into those problems yet. So again, in conclusion, it's really just personal preference and it's up to you how much money you have to spend, you want to spend, how big of a greenhouse you actually need. Um, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I've bought a bigger greenhouse for almost double the, more than double the amount of money. And it's a different brand. I was looking at the instruction manual. It's like the Bible compared to the instruction manual that came with this one. So hopefully I'll get that one put together soon and we can compare the two and see how different they are and what works better. But um, for my green first greenhouse build and my first greenhouse, I can just say that my expectations were not met, but maybe that's because my expectations were too high and never owning a greenhouse before. So hope you... Uh, took something from this video other than my frustration and uh yeah so good luck with your greenhouse and happy gardening thanks for watching